Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chris Witz and I'm here today to see what Gloucester Docks is looking like following the dredging programme. And there is another major, major issue which we'll talk about later. So sit back and enjoy. As we walk down into the docks, we pass this interesting, very old vessel, this white vessel on the, uh, my right. It's uh, been various things in the past. It's been a river tanker, it's been a trip boat, and now it's been converted into a cafe. They completed the dredging program back, oh, a month ago now, and they're due to come back in, September time, I believe. To have another go. It's very difficult getting rid of the mud. Cutter suction method, as you'll see from this bit of footage. This is the Kathleen and May. Very sad story. The last uh, original topsail schooner. She's here. She came for repair work basically the keeper of float but uh, they're looking for money so keeper of float again right you fancy coming on board to have a look around on board. This yacht's been in this dry dock for a very long time now. I understand she's recently been sold and possibly may see her sailing again. But I'm saying, don't hold your breath because she's been here for so long. As you can see, some interesting vessels here outside Tommy Nielsen shipyard, passing the small dry dock and uh, interesting vessel in. I haven't seen her before. But uh, we got a big turnover of vessels in, in and out of this uh, small dry dock. A few tall masted ships. And there's one that's been demasted yesterday for very good reason, which we'll talk about later. But bear this in mind, what you're seeing here, bear this in mind for later on in the film. Got a vessel coming through the bridge, the Edward Elgar. She does weekly uh, trips up to Starport on the Severn and down to Sharpness, the other end of the canal, and uh, it's a hotel boat. Redelgar, which is uh, a holiday boat, does trips right up to Starport on the weekly cruises, very popular. Well, just walking along the quayside for a little bit in the side of the dock basin, um, it would appear I've learnt we've got rid of one problem, i.e. the dredging, and now another major problem has occurred.
In readiness for Gloucester's Tall Ship Festival in May, the dock basin was dredged of mud during the winter months. One problem was solved, now another presents itself. The modern St Anne Bridge has developed a fort and cannot be raised to allow shipping to pass through. Currently, three ships remain trapped in the dock basin, including the Bessie Ellen, who has had to resort to having her mast taken out so she can pass under the bridge, then on the other side put back in again. So, will St Anne save the ships and open the bridge to allow them through for the festival? He might find it funny, but I don't think the rest of us do. I'm going to walk back to the Waterways Museum and see if I can um, get a cup of coffee. Certainly in need of one after the walk in this wind. This wind's relentless. I haven't given up for weeks. Here I am, National Waterways Museum, Gloucester. And uh, wish me luck, let's go in and see if I can get a cup of coffee. I'm up on the first floor, so as I'm walking around, ready to go down in the lift back home, I'll um, just film, but here's an interesting one, Talking Heads. Do you recognise that person on there? Do you recognise him? Oh look, that could be me. What's he going on about? Health and safety. Didn't exist in those days. Different to today. Yes. If you want a good experience, come to the museum, watch me, and uh, That'd be good. And here's, here's what you see out the window. Not much happening, but uh, there you go. Oh. He's still going on, that Chris Witz. He's still going on about his time on the tankers. Now, before we go, really, really before we go, here's what the ladies of the museum do. They make these costumes. And we men, we sometimes dress up in them. And we're at the rope machine once a month. So if you come in on the last Saturday of a month, you see the ladies and men dressed up like this, working the rope machine. And yes, I've got my cup of coffee. Thanks to Michaela and Sam at the museum. Wonderful, after being out in that wind, it's much needed. Thank you for watching my film. If you liked it, why not subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Meanwhile, I look forward to meeting you all again next week with a new film for you to enjoy. Bye.